We're Comet AI. Our slogan is ghost riding for the masses, which means we want to ship self-driving cars to as many people as have Android smartphones. What we're announcing today is Panda. Panda is the best universal car interface ever. This supports six different buses on this port. Literally, it can talk with every car manufactured after 1996, pull all the data off that car, and even send commands to certain supported cars. Um, and it has both USB and Wi-Fi, so you can connect it to your phone or connect it to your computer. So you get all this data from the car, you want a way to interpret it, We've made this app called Cabana. It's like fancy Fitbit for your car. You can analyze all of the, you know, your gas pedal, your RPMs, your tire pressures, how much fuel uh, is in the tank, what your miles per gallon are. All this stuff about your car is logged and then exposed to you through an API and through an interface. Okay, so Schiffer gathering Panda, communicating that data to Cabana, which interprets the data. Yeah. Why is there this whole system? Instead of just maybe, like, why isn't, it, why isn't it the Panda system? Why is it all different components? Right now, this is mostly for car enthusiasts, people who really want, people who understand what these different components are and really want to get access to their car at a level. The, the, the information you can get from your car with a Panda, Schiffer, and Cabana is beyond what mechanics can get, beyond what uh, emissions can get. This is manufacturer level stuff. This it sounds really interesting, but it's also quite a shift from the Comma One, which you were going to sell. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming you haven't given up on that. So the problem with the Comma One was kind of that it looked like this, right? We'd be happy to sell these things if there wasn't regulatory interference, but like this is not a consumer product. Mm -hmm. We were only planning to sell a thousand of these, and at that scale, we couldn't fight the regulatory battle. The plan is to gather all of this data, use it to train a superhuman self-driving model, then you know, go to a Foxconn and say, look, we know we're gonna sell 10,000 of these units, make something that looks really nice, that's easy to install. In fact, at that point, it doesn't even have to be user installable. Once we get more car support, we've talked to a few dealerships and they're like, we would love to bundle this with our cars. Mm -hmm. Just make the hardware look prettier and make it support more cars. So any kind of smart uh, computer programmer or anyone could sort of figure out already how to make their car a self-driving car and give well, it the data? I wouldn't say make your car self-driving, but I think anybody, even people without programming experience, who are enthusiastic about their car, mm -hmm. who want to look at, wow, what's the engine temperature? What's the RPMs? Maybe people who are interested in racing, people who are interested in modding, people who just like are interested in the thing they drive around every day. Pandas are already for sale at panda.comma.ai and they're $88.